Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomo Tea, and today I have a video showing you how to make these three different variations of milk. So I have a gallon of milk, a bottle of milk, and spilled milk. So first we're going to make the milk gallon template. So I'm taking some scrap clay and I'm pinching it into a rectangle shape. And at the very top, I'm shaping it to bake it into a pyramid. And then I'm rounding off the corners. And then I'm taking my blade and I'm cutting just a little corner, a little less than half of the milk carton off. And then I'm smoothing out the edges again. Next, I'm adding a little circle on top for the opening for where the milk gets poured out. Now for the handle, I'm rolling a piece of clay into a snake. And I'm going to bend it at the top half at a 45 degree angle. And then I'm baking them according to instructions. And I bake them separately because we want to make two separate molds for them to fill it with resin. Next, I'm taking some resin and I'm pouring white pigment into it to make it into a nice opaque white color. And I'm filling the mold with the white resin and letting that to cure for 24 hours because I used two part resin for this project. And then once cured, I pulled out both pieces out of the mold. I added a little bit of UV resin on the bottom because it was a little bit caved in, so I wanted to fill up that space. And then I super glued the handle onto the milk carton in the corner where we cut out. So this is how the milk carton looks like, and don't worry about the little gaps between the handle and the milk carton because we're going to glaze it with UV resin and the UV resin will fill it. And once we glaze the milk carton with UV resin, I added a dot I, another dot I, and a line smile. And allow that to cure under the UV lamp for two minutes. For the bottle of milk, I got a little glass bottle that I got from Hobby Lobby, I believe, but you can get them online. And I poured in the resin using a little pipette and if you do this, you have to make sure that your resin is more on the liquid side and it hasn't hardened at all. And I added my cork to it once I fully filled the bottle with the white resin. And then I glazed the bottle with some UV resin. And I added some dot eyes and a line smile as well. And allowed that to cure. So now for the spilled milk, which is the fun one, I filled another glass bottle with some white resin and I poured it about halfway, so when we tipped it over it looked like it was about half full. And I also poured out some of the resin onto a little silicone mat, and I shaped the resin around so it looks like it was a giant spill mark, but over time, after it cured, it just looked like a giant puddle, which I was totally fine with as well. And I glazed the bottle again with some UV resin. And I added some arrow faces and a line frown. And let that cure under the UV lamp for two minutes. So here are the final products. Here's the spilled milk. And I kind of wanted a smaller concentration of spillage instead of one giant puddle, but that's how my resin spread over time. And I really can't help that, but this is fine as well and you could go really creative with the spilled milk. And here's my bottle of milk. I wanted to add a label, but at the same time I didn't want to cover up the white resin, so I just kept it like this. And finally we have our gallon of milk. And I wanted to draw a label for this one too, but I didn't really want to draw or print out a little sticker label, but if you want to make it more authentic, you can. And it usually goes on the side with the handle or the side that doesn't have the face on it, I think. So here are three variations of milk, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what kind of milk you like to drink, or if you don't drink milk at all. Especially for those who are lactose intolerant, like me personally, I like to drink almond milk. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.